Today I'm going to show you how you can make a collage using a grid. So I'm already in my Kizo account and I'm currently in the My Images tab. To get started, I'm going to go to the Collage Maker tab. So as you can see, I'm given three options. The first one being grids, the second one making a collage using a template, or simply making a collage from scratch. So today we're going to make a collage using a grid. So I'm going to click on the first one and right away you're going to see all of the different grid layouts you can choose from. And a little bit lower you'll have the magic collages, which as it says here, they self adjust to the number of photos you choose. So you can choose whichever layout you like and as many photos as you want and the collage will automatically make itself like magic with the number of photos you have chosen. Uh, today I'm going to use a grid, so I'm going to come back up here and I'll choose this one for example. And I'll have the option to either use it as a still template, which means there won't be any movement, or I can choose the animated template, which will add movement to the collage. I'm going to go ahead and keep the still template and then click choose. And now I'm prompted to choose the photos I want. As you can see here in the bottom, it'll tell you how many photos you can add to this specific grid. So I can choose six photos. So I'm going to choose from my this wedding album. I'm going to go ahead and choose six. Let's see, three, four, five, and six. And I'll click apply. And after a few seconds, it's going to generate the collage for me with the grid I chose. So as you can see, it turned out pretty well. Uh, I don't really need to do any centering, but uh, maybe on this one down here in the bottom left hand corner, all I would have to do to center the photo would be to click on the, the photo as I did, and this little circle will appear in the center. So with the little cursor, I'm going to grab it and move it a little bit to the right so it is more centered. Uh, right about there. Perfect. I can also change the background. For example, right now it's by default set to black. So I'm going to go ahead and set it to white, which I think looks perfect and great. So now I'll go ahead and save it. So as soon as my collage has finished saving, I will find it in the My Collages album, which will be in the My Images tab. So we'll give it a few seconds to finish and then I'll go ahead and show you where you can find it. So as soon as it's done saving, I'm giving it any options of what I would want to do with it. I'm going to go ahead and close this and go to the My Images tab and in the My Collages album, you'll see that my collage is now here. Well, that's it for making a collage using a grid. See you next time.